I see the role of the master planner as the person who takes responsibility for pulling together multiple issues to create um, exciting and inspiring places. And underneath that, of course, sits uh, a myriad of issues, a myriad of skill sets. Um, the master planner is the integrator, it's a political role, it's a technical role, it's a design role. Um, it's a role that deals with both the physical, but it's also a role that has to deal with broader socio-economic issues. And, and, and in my work, uh, I would say at least 50% of what we do is about the soft side, the socio-economic component, where people work, where they go to school, their experience, their life chances, as well as setting that against an agenda of creating beautiful places, exciting places. The role of a master planner is quite complex because it requires a balance of understanding from physical issues, environmental issues, design issues, but also balancing that with the politics of any complex situation. So when we start a master plan process, it's really for us very much about listening to issues as a priority before we leap into any sort of design vision, and that, that's really how we start these processes. Um, we have to sort of keep as a master planner an agnostic view of the wide variety of different professional disciplines that we have to organize and manage. And so on one side of it, we have to deal with egos of very talented designers and architects and landscape architects who want to strongly influence and focus in on the design issues of projects. Our role as master planners is to respect and enhance and facilitate that, but really to then balance that with all the other issues about local community requirements, uh, uh, health analysis, hot crime issues, political issues, and ensure that the solution is not based just around creating a beautiful object, but creating a place that resolves the complex issues that are being faced by the master plan itself.